is up, beautiful people? And today, we're gonna figure out if I'm an introvert. So, uh, I do believe I am introverted. I, uh, I literally do not talk to anyone besides people that I know. And I will never start a conversation unless someone starts it. That is just me. But let's just, uh, th I guess this is the person that uh, we're doing this quiz with. Psych to go. But, you know, things could change. That, uh, the way that I do conversations is, I say a little bit introverted. But, you know, we're gonna figure this out. So, uh, let's get into this. All right. Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to our channel. Oh my god, I actually pronounced it right? Remember that this is a fun activity video made for entertainment purposes and shouldn't be taken too seriously. Alright. Have you ever found yourself relating to traits of- No, I'm just gonna use this person to, like, as serious as possible. Like, if I don't agree with her answer, I know, I'm just gonna, like, completely destroy her channel. No, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. That was a joke. Alright, let's get back. Both extroversion and introversion? <clears throat> Introverts tend to focus on their thoughts and feelings. Extroverts act based on external stimulation. And in case you were wondering, you can fall somewhere in between the two sides and change along the way too. This just proves that I don't know anything about psychology because I'm just like, introvert equals person who doesn't like socialization. Extrovert is very outgoing with conversation or stuff like that. But yeah, okay. So, here's the quiz to figure out where you fall among these two personality traits. Don't forget to tell your letters. We'll add them up later. Oh, crap. At the end of this video, we'll tell you the results. So, I'm glad I'm that. <laughs> I have a One. piece of Someone paper you don't and know pen, that I guess. Well calls you over and talks about their personal woes and struggles. You had a five-minute conversation. You, A, half attentively listen. B, interrupt and say that you're too busy for this. C, Work can wait. It's good to empathize with them. Or D. Engage in a long, drawn-out chat. Longer than five minutes. Number two. Okay. This is just me, but it has to be D. Because uh, people go through stuff and they need to talk. Entering a door, you burst open to see a party of unfamiliar people. Your friend, the person who invited you, is nowhere to be found. You... Walk out. A, Start out and text your friend to ask where they are. <laughs> B. Get inside awkwardly and look for them. Or C. Sit on a couch and strike up a chat with an approachable person. Oops, I forgot D. Barge in and insert yourself into a fun-loving circle. Your friend can wait. Okay, this one either has to be A or D. If I'm gonna, you know, go out into a random place and party, it, it's gonna be all out. But, you know, A's looking pretty nice too. Oh. I'm gonna do A and D. See, like, hey, where are they? And then if they don't answer, then I'll leave. If they do answer, you're saying, like, oh, I'm in, like, the kitchen or something, then I'm just gonna go, like, full. Then I'm just gonna go out and then just, you know, freaking party like there's no tomorrow, finding my friend, because I know the friend is there. But I'm gonna pick A for first. Number three. You're in an airplane with a stranger beside you. You. A. Read a book, put on headphones, and sleep. B. Pretend they don't- I do not even know why this lady- Like, you don't even talk to the person next to you on a plane. Like, uh, I- I- Don't exist and respect their space. C. Talk to them and fill them out if they want to have a conversation. Or D. Converse with them for the entire plane trip. Number four. If it's forcefully C, like, you have no choice but to talk to them after a certain amount of time, so it has to be C. You disagree with your colleague or classmate regarding a group project. You A. Just stay silent, even if you disagree. B. Speak up, but waver if they don't stop. C. Defend your point of view strongly. Or D. Rally up the rest of the team to join the conversation. Number five. It's gonna be C. Uh, I don't mess around with my grade, and usually when I control the project, I usually get the one zero zero. So, yeah, I I have to control the projects. So, what what was that answer again? C. Your schedule is free over the weekend. You A. Enjoy the rest of the day with no plans at home. B. That's a pretty walk nice. Walk to the park by yourself and enjoy the sights and smells. Alright. C. Consider calling your friend for a lunch date. D. 
Pack up your schedule and make plans with several friends. ASAP. Number six. Haha, <laughs> jokes on you. Don't have friends. But. I guess I'll go with B. Park by myself, because then I'll. If I wanted to find someone to talk to, I'll find someone to talk to. You have an important decision coming up, and your choice has grave consequences. Damn. You. A. Suffer from analysis paralysis and end up choosing an option you never intended. B. You relinquish your position and ask someone else to do it for you. C. You make a decision, but are at a stump on what happens next. Or D. You make a decision fast and delegate the roles to your team quickly. Number seven. You notice your friend continuing bad habits that- This is gonna have to be D. With something like that, you have to have people who trust you and you have to trust- the people that you're making the decision with just for the sole purpose of since you and you, you and other people don't know what's really going on but if you if one solely has a plan like in war zone they have a place that they want to you know drop into let's just say like superstore they want to drop into that right or you want to drop into that your team has to trust you with that like, there's no going around it. If your team doesn't trust you, they're going to leave you, and then you're going to die, and then they're going to die. It doesn't work out. But, you know, if your team is full willing to do their best in whatever space that you pick, you're good. You'd rather have them stop. You. A. Don't say anything. You'd rather not create conflict. B. Tell them about it gently. C. Call them out for their actions. Or D. Express your anger with conviction. It's gonna Number be me. Eight. Do you think it's easy for people to get to know you? A. No, even my friends don't know everything. B. Only my closest friends. C. I think I am, at least to my friends and family. Or D. I post about my life on social media every day. Number nine. Well, I definitely don't post everything on social media, so, uh... Let's just go with C, friends and family for right now. Or D. I post about my life on social media every day. Number nine. Can you have fun by yourself? Yes. A. That's the only time I have fun. B. Yes. I love my alone time. C. I'd rather be with a close friend or two. Or D. No, I need to be around people. It's Last question. B. Number ten. You meet someone new for the first time. You. A. Say hi and part ways. Not particularly interested in small talk. B. Have a short, casual conversation while maintaining a distance. C. Talk at length but leave the obscure topics out the window. Or D. Talk as if you're best friends. Okay. This one is just... This one is... That question is confusing just because there's a lot of variables in it. If I don't end up liking the person after the first 10 seconds... Then it's A. If I do end up, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll choose B, a short conversation. Are you ready for the results? Tally up your points. Each letter is worth a different amount of points. Right. A is one point. Okay. Uh, there's only one A, so one. B is two points. Okay, uh, I have a lot of Bs. Two, four, six, eight. B is three points. And D. C is three points. Three, six, nine. Is four points. All right, four Your points. Four, eight, eight. Or in group A, if you scored ten to eighteen. Oh crap! I think I have a little bit. <laughs> I have a little bit more than a ten to eighteen. All right, so we got nine plus eight, which is seventeen. Seventeen plus one is eighteen, and then eighteen plus eight. 26! Don't worry, guys. I definitely know how to do maths. Group B, if you scored 19 to 26. Group C, if you scored 27 to 34. Alright, so I'm in group B. If you scored 35 to 40. Group A, you're a textbook introvert. You don't like small talk. You maintain a small circle of friends and love and seek solitude. People who know you think of you as silent, maybe even shy. But you know it's just draining talking to people for extended periods. You'd rather stay home over the weekends doing a solitary hobby rather than going out to meet people most of the time. 
you are see that doesn't necessarily mean that we like i'm pretty sure b is just gonna be my type of introverted but you know even when we go out we still like going out but we don't generally like meeting people when we go out we go out to have fun for ourselves which i'm pretty sure that's gonna be b group group b you are close to the middle of the spectrum but you're leaning more towards introversion Aha. You'd rather have deep conversations with your closest friends instead of meeting new people. Socializing can be draining, especially in unfamiliar situations, but you do need it every once in a while. However, with the right people, any day can be a blast. Group C. Aha. A little of group A with a little of group B. You are closely extroverted. You enjoy meeting new people and learning about different walks of life. You do love a good party or gathering and have no problem catching the spotlight. You are also self-assured and highly idealistic, making you a great partner to be around for the more introverted of the bunch. And Group D, there's little to no introverted bone in your body. You love getting to know people, and the idea of spending a weekend at home sounds genuinely out of your realm of thought. Your hobbies are people-centric, and you're crazy loyal to the friends that are lucky to have you around. You're the life of the party. See, now here's the problem. Every single one of those answers almost everybody has. Like, at least one little tiny dot of that thing. So, trying to figure out extroversion or introversion is just hard because, uh, you know, I like throwing down at a party every once in a while. There's gonna have to be more videos like this so we can figure out what the hell I am. And, so, uh, I guess comment down below if you're introverted or extroverted. I mean, I, um... Uh, that was kind of like a half and half butter biscuit for me today. So, uh, without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, sub, comment, and all that good stuff. And, uh, hope you have a fantastic day, night, something, something, whatever time it is for you. And, see you next.